What's going on, everybody? This is Coach Gary. Just doing a little pregame for this uh, big game that's coming on tonight. It's going to be on ESPN. We're talking about the ball boys' first professional game against each other. Yes, sir. Uh, Pelicans versus Hornets. Hang on just a minute, guys. Just a second. Just a second. Sorry, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Yes, sir. Like I said, uh, the first game that these ball brothers are going to be playing against each other is the Pelicans, Pelicans versus the Hornets. Guys, you know what is about to be. Um, that's just this. You know, that's that's how how it's going to be. And guys, look, come and join me tonight, yes, sir. Come and join me tonight. Uh, I'm going to have like a little. I, I hate to call it a watch party because. I can't show you the game, but, you know, we're going to be looking at it. Hope you can find it where you are uh, so you can watch it along with me. You know, we can uh, cheer, talk a little noise and, and, and all that stuff. You know, I think it's going to be a it's going to be a, a big game. Well, it is a big game. Uh, I think it's going to be an interesting game. You know, I'm pretty sure that it's going to be. Uh, one of the biggest games of the year. So um, yeah, I'm interested in seeing what's 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 going to happen. Uh, the Charlotte Hornets are twelfth in the Eastern Conference. Uh, not not where we want to be right now, but you know it, it, it's not terrible. We're th uh, three and five, and the Pelicans are four and four. You know. Everybody's talking about the ball brothers, but I'm I'm trying to win this game. You know what I'm saying? They, they they've got uh, other players besides uh, <laughs> uh, Alonzo Ball. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they got Brandon Ingram. You know, they, you know, and they got another Duke boy. I don't even want to say his name because he might go off on us tonight. But um, yeah, seven thirty. Uh, we, we're just coming off a big win, uh, beat those Hawks. Uh, the bad thing about that is tomorrow night we've got to play them again, and I'm pretty sure that um, I am pretty sure that uh, Trey Young's not going to leave Charlotte without at least 25 points. I think he's going to get at least 25 points uh, Saturday, but you know. That's 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 what we were looking for. I mean, that's that's what you know. We can't do anything about, but we can do something about it. Hopefully, we can play some uh, some good defense and um, make it hard for them. Make it hard for them to be successful. Tomorrow, but you know, tonight. We got to take care of business tonight first. All right. Everything else to take care of itself. But we got to go. We got to do one thing at a time. One thing at a time. And that's the uh, first thing we got to take care of uh, the Pelicans. We'll preview action. What we might be seeing out of those Ball Brothers. That's the center we need right there, though. Yeah, that's, that's what I think. I think the Charlotte Hornets will, could uh, could compete a little bit better if we had a uh, scoring center. You know, nothing against Bismack. You know, Bismack comes out there and he gives a hundred percent every game. I love Bismack, but you know we need we you know we need something else. We need somebody to get busy down there. You know, I miss old Al Jefferson. I wonder if Al Jefferson is still playing ball anywhere. He had those posts. He has those post moves that, uh, yeah, you're not going. to – He can still play if he's 45 years old. I think 45. You know, 40. I give him 40. And Big Al carves up some space down there. So, 
You know, I, I, I we just need a big man. You know, me and my boys, we talk about we talk about these packages that we can put together. You know, with like Monk and the way the way Miles is playing. You know, Miles and may, maybe even Zeller. You know, pack those guys up, and send them somewhere, and get and get somebody really good for them. I love all three of those guys, though. You know, you come through, you come through North Carolina. You know, I'm gonna show you love, regardless. But you know, guys, um, tonight we are going to put our hard hats on, and we are gonna come out. Hopefully, we're going to come out and we are going to ball out. We're going to play some defense tonight. Everybody is going to be focused. Um, we're going to close out instead of running out to the three and trying to block shots. We are, we are going to uh, take care of the ball. You know what I'm saying? We're not gonna we're not gonna have a bunch of turnovers. Uh, and the one thing that we always do that I'm not worried about, and that's playing uh, the whole game. Now we may not play well the whole game, but we're gonna play pretty good the whole game. I think the keys are uh, first of all playing great defense. Got to play that defense. Let the offense come come to us and put some motion in the offense. All right, our, our pick and rolls. Like I said, if we had if we had a dominant big man, a big man that was just that had game around the basket, that pick and roll worked great, you know. I mean, a, a big big man. Okay, uh, PJ got some nice size, but he's not a big big. You know, that pick and roll works decent with him, but he don't. We don't run the pick and roll with with PJ for the most part. PJ is like a big guard out there. You know, we got a four out one a one big man in type of offense um but we always run that we run that pick and roll uh, i like them when we run that motion so sort of like that it's sort of like a half weave type motion deal uh and then get something off of that so we got to run a, a fluid offense we got to play great defense we got to turn we got to cut down on the turnovers like the the unnecessary the unforced turnovers you know going behind the back and losing the ball uh, trying to force a pass through two guys, you know, just, you know, we got to cut down on that. If we cut down on those things. Um, I think we'll still, we're going to be right there at the end with, with this team. Now they've got some, they got some monsters now. They got some monsters, but, uh, I'm still believing in my Hornets. So, you know, guys, they, uh, come and join me. Let's see what we can do tonight i'm excited uh yeah come and check me out i'm sounding a little bit hesitant on this uh right here and that's because the first time i've done it but guys hey look come and check out these hornets tonight come and check out this uh this uh watch party i'm gonna be giving i'm gonna be doing you know just lay back and chill you know come in talk for an hour you know what I'm saying? Let's see if we can cheer these uh these hornets to a win. See if we can cheer these hornets to a win. All right, guys. Hey, I'll check you out tonight. Stop by and see me. G Daddy Media. Let's go, coach out.